I'm going to show you now how to set up the transducers in DS8 after the machine has been set up in the, in the system. What we're going to go here is just to the tab that says transducers. And I'm going to go through calibration. What we're going to do is enter or calibrate a new transducer. In reality, I'm not going to enter the, I'm going to enter the calibration of the transducer. I'm going to add it to the ELE demo um, machine that I'm pairing it up with. Select the logger channel. The logger channel is going to be logger channel number one. And the type of transducer is going to be a force transducer. The range of this is going to be 15,000 newtons or 15 kilonewtons. And then I'm going to enter the serial number, which in this case for the transducer that I have is this one right here. Uh, this information you're going to find in the calibration certificate that uh, that comes with each one of the transducers uh, uh, when you open the box. I have the option to either do a two-point calibration, for which I would need calibration equipment, or I can do an, uh, I can just simply enter calibration details. In this case, I'm going to enter the calibration details that, are, that have shown up in my calibration certificate, and it's fairly easy. You're going to enter the transducer slope, which you're going to find in there. And then the gain value, which is also in the transducer calibration certificate. And then I'm just simply going to say that add the transducer to the system. Um, what I'm going to do next is enter another transducer. So and set up another transducer for the ELE demo AJR machine. This is going to be channel number two. And this is going to be my vertical horizontal deformation or displacement transducer, which has a range of 15 millimeters. And it has a serial number uh, per the certificate as, uh, as I'm entering. Again, I'm going to enter the calibration details. Otherwise, I can perform if I have gate if I had gauge blocks, I can perform a two-point calibration. In this case, I'm just going to enter the details that were provided to me. And then again. Notice that the transducer slope um, I've entered with a negative uh, value. Uh, this may, you may need to change this uh, after you monitor the transducers, depending on um, the readings that uh, that you get from it. But uh, for now, just entering the data as, as shown up. And I'm going to add that transducer to the system. Now my my ELE demo machine has basically two devices uh, for channels one and two, force and, dis and vertical displacement. Uh, as, uh, as shown up here, and I'm just going to save and close, and that should be the 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 end of the transducer setup. Uh, furthermore, what I can do is I can click on the monitor option, and this will take me to a screen where I can go in and, and check my transducer. So if, if I if I were to add the transducer for the force, and it'll display basically a live reading of it, and if I squeeze it with my hand should be able to get a, a reading out of it. You know that that is correct. And the same, of course, with my deformation transducer. If I were to squeeze on the on the piston, you know, I would get basically a, a reading there. And that is the end. I've checked them and they all work as they should. And that should be that for the transducer setup.